What's up guys, back with a crypto video. Uh, I know I haven't made one of these in almost three weeks and that was mostly due to the market being pretty boring uh, the past few weeks since the ETF approval. But I've also been busy, I just got back yesterday from Thailand. So it's like, let's just dive into the market today. Let's do some of my, uh, my signature amateur TA, look at Bitcoin, XRP, uh, the stock market, and then just the altcoin market as a whole and the crypto market as a whole. Uh, we won't go through any of like really the news or anything. I'm just going to look at the charts, kind of see where we're at. Things are finally starting to pick back up, look a little bit exciting again. So look, Bitcoin, where we're at, 48K, you know, we're, we're seeming to kind of hover around here right now, hold it pretty nicely. We finally got movement over the past uh, few days, like really started to move, which was nice to see because like I said, it was just so boring. Um, after that ETF, we'll go to the daily chart. I know my chart's a little crowded here, but we had the ETF day right here, and it was just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like almost two weeks just going down, and then we come up off the lows, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, again, almost two weeks just going sideways. So it was a really boring month here. Uh, but as you can see, I had this falling wedge drawn, right? When we came down, we finally broke back out of that. Uh, it would indicate, okay, we're moving up. The big thing here for me that I was watching was this channel that, God damn it, something like that, uh, that goes all the way back to here, even the lows. Let's see, pull it over. Yeah, all the way back to the lows. So after we came back up out of this falling wedge, I was watching this channel and we were kind of hitting our head on it, but then we kind of consolidated again for like two weeks, put in a bit of a, a triangle, had some fake outs along the way, but then we finally broke out. If we go to the four hour, we can see we had a nice fake out here, come back down, breakout, retest, and then after that, it's just been straight up, up only mode. So Bitcoin is looking good. We still have to be cautious because obviously 48K is our major level of resistance. And that's where we came up to uh, before, right around here with the ETF, and then right back here in uh, March of 2022. But if we close this weekly candle today in two hours, right here, this is going to look really good that we're taking out that high over here. And we're obviously closing way outside of this range that we were in back here from about... 44 and a half thousand down to 40 and a half thousand. So this was kind of our range. We deviated up here uh, above the range. Let me, okay, let me delete some of these lines to make it a little bit nicer to look at. We'll simplify the charts. I'm gonna do the same thing with XRP. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of lines. Uh, so we have, this is our basic range that we were trading between. We had a deviation up here above the highs. Then we had a deviation down here below the lows. And then after that, came back into the range, consolidated in the middle of it, boom, broke out again. So we're back on top of this channel. We're above this resistance. The only thing now is just hold this 48K level, clear this, and then, you know, it's blue skies. I think we'll quickly be headed for bare minimum 52K, but this, this could be the start of our parabolic move that just sends us. Who knows the halving's like two months away a little bit more so things are looking good for bitcoin and if things are looking good for bitcoin that means things are looking good for the entire market now obviously at the moment uh altcoins still aren't doing too much ethereum still hasn't even come back up to its high around 2700 has broken back out of its range again though, though uh, also so that looks nice and then we have the stock market which is most important and it's just been rampaging so SPX broke 5,000, it's around 5,026. Look, can't ask for much more. The conditions are set for what Bitcoin normally needs to see to go on its raging bull runs. Stock market is in price discovery in all time highs. The, the big thing that we're watching out for, if you watch a blockchain backer, he hammers this point. With the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, we are super close to hitting this 4.236 extension back from 
the 2008 uh, financial crisis for the Dow and the dot-com bubble for the NASDAQ all the way up to this extension. So this is the level that he's watching out for. Again, I think we should be cautious because really what what's going to happen is the stock market starts crashing. Uh, everything's probably going to not look so great for Bitcoin anymore and for crypto. So we need to hope that this continues and that we don't get stopped out here and have something you know catastrophic happen that just sends us into a collapse. You got to also keep an eye on the Fed and the rate cuts because historically, whenever rates get cut, you have about one or two months of continued upside potentially, and then after that, it slides out. After rates get cut, normally the top is in, and we're going down from there. You know, we might go up in the future once the rates get cut all the way down, and then we bottom out. But that's going to be a process in between where the market is probably going to struggle, if not, you know have something crazy happen like it did here in COVID or the great financial crisis. So we got to keep our eyes out, stay vigilant for these things. But at the moment, Bitcoin looks great and this should set things up. Assuming we continue to break out and we do go for the all time highs, this should set things up for the altcoin market to start rampaging. So I'll start with the total altcoin market cap. And then we'll go into XRP specifically because that's really what uh, I care about, what I want to talk about on the channel. Uh, but for total three, look, we had our big accumulation range. We broke out. And then the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks, like the past two months, we've been consolidating, retesting the top of the range. And now, like I keep saying, assuming that Bitcoin holds here and continues to go higher, we should assume that the altcoin market catches up and gets back up to this level because this is about what 48k is for bitcoin march april of 2022 so that would be a big pump some altcoins would go absolutely ballistic and i do think that that is coming and it's probably coming soon but what we want to talk about is xrp of course this chart, little, little overcomplicated, a little overcrowded. So I'll pull up a different one. Let's just go Binance, sure. Okay, so XRP, killing souls, killing spirits. Everyone's getting frustrated, and rightfully so. Look, we've been struggling, I'm not gonna lie. There's some stuff that's happened on the charts these past few weeks that does not look good. First, let's just take our horizontal level here, you know, the top of our range around 54 cents that we broke out of. XRP has broken back below that. That's not good. Our uptrend that we were in. XRP has broken back below that. That is not good. It looks bad. Where is the positivity here? Okay, the positivity is in the macro. And I'd like to draw one more. Let's draw, what are the parallel channels? Parallel channels, there we go. Okay, if we draw a parallel channel, something like, oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Parallel channel, uh, I think like, something like that. Okay, and then we move this. You know something like this like it still doesn't look too bad in my opinion this looks a little different than what I have on my chart okay yeah on my chart it looks a little different maybe I'm on log scale over here but it looks like it was resistance here support here support support and we're still on support we did break below some significant supports I'm not gonna lie like I said it doesn't look good I don't love to see it but ultimately we still are holding up here we hit a low at around 48, 49 cents. We bounced off of it a bit. We're at 52 and a half. We need to see this thing break out, man. If we go down to a lower time frame, four hour, we had this, you know, descend in resistance. We have come out of that, but we haven't really seen any impulsive move out of that. It's just kind of been, you know, grinding up a little bit. We would love to see something that just shoots us back up to like 
the 60s or high 50s, that would be a good sign to just get back out of here, get back above this 54 cent level. But we'll have to wait and see what the market does. Like I keep saying, if Bitcoin continues, this should be optimistic. We still have so much news on the table for XRP and for Ripple that could come out any day and completely swing the sentiment. So we had something similar happen down here, right? Where XRP was just drifting down, drifting down, barely moving up right here, barely moving. And then boom. And this was all happening while Bitcoin was going up. So Bitcoin, other altcoins, they were going up aggressively. XRP just kind of did nothing for a little while. So this looks very reminiscent of that. Let me just pull this fractal actually, now that we're talking about it. Let's just see how this looks over here. I mean, guys, you can't really make this up. Look at that. I just did that live. I had not done that before. That's kind of crazy. We're following that pretty exactly. And that would say that, oh, 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 we got some more pain to come. We get some wicks down here to like 41 cents. You know, who knows? Anything can happen, right? We just continue this trend line is saying, oh yeah, we just waterfall down this trend line for a while till we come back up. It would look really bad and it would scare a lot of people out of the market before we would then go to, you know, a crazy bull run up to like $23. So, you know, take your best bets. I continue to hold. I still believe that XRP will perform very well this cycle. And it's just lagging, you know. It's it's behind a little bit, but that that's okay. You know, we don't have to be the front runner. Got to have conviction in what you hold. I believe in the, uh, the technology. I believe that it will be used more than any other crypto, which eventually should lead it to being priced accordingly. And on top of all this, we have our macro pattern, our A, B, C, D, E, hopefully breakout, as we had back here, A, B, C, D, E. So do your own research, you know, make your own decisions, but I will continue to hold XRP. Uh, I believe in this. I believe this will provide us with substantial gains relative to the rest of the market. It's just a matter of when it goes relative to the rest of the market. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda bought other coins, rode them up, and then reinvested in XRP, but who's to know and who's to say how things will play out? I'd rather buy, hold, be safe, than, you know, put it all into some other coin, hoping to ride it up and then transfer it over just to have some news get released and XRP get sent before I have that opportunity. So... Staying strong, staying steadfast. Hopefully Bitcoin continues here and we see some excitement in the coming week. Again, we have about two hours till this weekly close. And once that closes, if it closes up here, that's a very good sign in my opinion for closing over 48K. Should be an indicator of good things to come. So hope you enjoyed this update. I know I have not made one in quite some time, but I'll get back on top of it. One or two per week, hopefully. And if you did, Enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.